There's one other way to increase the capacity of a capacitor situation. We can change the geometry, the area, we can make that bigger, we can make the spacing smaller so we get more charges that can sit on the plate at a particular potential difference, 12 volts. Um, but we can do something else. We can put a material, an insulator, in between these two plates. So we can put in what's called a dielectric. An insulator and when we put this insulator in so I'm going to put it sort of right here for right now I'm not completely filling it but we um, will say it, it's like that what happens in an insulator is that remember it's going to be attracted to this but it doesn't allow um, the electrons to move, right? Well, uh, insulators don't allow that. But what can happen is near the negative side, we can take our um, atoms that were um, sort of set up with a positive and a circular orbit, mostly circular orbit for the electron, we can say it gets polarized. So I get a positive charge and negative charge. It gets a little oblong. This is obviously exaggerated. Atoms are nowhere near this big, and the polarization really is not this dramatic, okay? But that's the idea, which of course impacts the nearest neighbors, plus minus, and its neighbors all the way up. So we get this little bit of polarization. And this polarization is such that, hey, there's a positive charge here that can pull up some additional minus charges here and pull up some additional positive charges. So we get increased capacity. So we get increased our capacity. And how much we can increase it depends on how easy it is to polarize this material. Okay, so we talk about how easy it is to get this polarization. So this is our polarization. how easy it is to polarize the material, we con connect that to something called our dielectric constant. And so what we say is that um, we can create this K, K it's K, it's not kinetic energy, I'm gonna write it as kappa. We can say that we do it in terms of this constant where this K tells us this is our dielectric constant. And it tells us how easy it is to polarize the material. And so it says that um, if we have a K equaling 1, then in this equation, what we do is instead of saying it's E naught, the permittivity of what's called free space, so this is permittivity of free space or vacuum, and this is going to be the permittivity of our material. So that allows us to show this increase in capacitance as just equal to epsilon. So that if kappa is equal to one, then this goes back to basically our E0. But for our dielectric material, we might have one where this kappa or this K, this dielectric constant, is like four, then we've got four times the capacitance just from this polarization. And what's happening here is, of course, that as we go along, we have this electric field that we had um, before when the dielectric constant wasn't here, and then this sets up a little tiny electric field in this way. This is called our induced electric field. And so then this electric field can sort of increase to so that this plus this get, get us our original electric field back. At the same voltage, we can hold on to more charges. And so this is a way we really increase our capacitance. So you'll see capacitors that have paper between them um, or paper often with some oil because oil has a pretty high dielectric constant. And so that's common in um, fairly um, big capacitors.